Hello there and welcome to part two where I'm going to take the pattern form from the mannequin and process and finish it into a workable pattern. For this stage you're going to need a surface to work on, paper or card to draw the final pattern onto, pens to do so, something to secure the initial pattern such as pins or tape and finally scissors. So let's begin. Cut your whole shape from the mannequin. Lay out your pattern onto your surface and cut apart each piece. If you feel like you might forget what goes where, label each section appropriately. Press out each piece making sure they are as flat as possible. Once all your pieces are separated, flattened and labelled, all you need to do is redraft them with all the pointers from before on new paper. A big mistake people make when using this technique is they cut and sew the piece forgetting to add those extra sewing boundaries and end up with a piece one to two sizes too small. As with all sewing, keep it personal but cohesive. If you're someone who can only work with over one inch seam allowance, go for it. But make sure all your pattern pieces have the same allowance. Also, make note that if you're using a small seam allowance, the hem requires a larger amount on most fabrics in order to fall well. If your design is incredibly intricate, there's a chance that areas won't lie flat and you will need to resolve this. The best way is by making incisions to the centre until it presses out. When making the final pattern for such pieces, take into account the extra size gained. Make your drawn line the seam allowance and draw an internal line for the actual size. And then once you've done all this, you're all set. That is, unless your design calls for an opened out silhouette. If it does, then please carry on to part three. If not, then goodbye and good luck.